write 1 million today. I see there's like already people with 1.3 million. No clue how they do it. But you know, crazy. Like even with exploit, I think like 1.3 million is like pretty insane. Yeah, that was pretty slow. So I have like kind of a new route here. So I'm, I'm just messing like up something like real bad right now. <laughs> Not sure. Um, so we go here. We skip boss. We take the, the shrine and usually the boss should come with me. Um, don't know why I didn't do it like right now, but but usually he's supposed to do that. Um, doesn't matter. So we get this shrine because um, this elite pack here in the middle, this um, it's only here once, and it's a pretty large pack actually. So you have to kill it with the shrine, which actually um, matters like quite a bit. And we have to pick up the chest with the shrine here. Yeah, so I think I'm like way too slow right now because like I don't know I, I have to get like warm <laughs> I will reset this one here So apparently like there's um, in here, I mean it's not enough to just put a Hydra here because there's like two big elite packs like pretty much like um, down there. So you really have to go in there I guess. Can't really do anything about it. So this time we can go in here. Get the boss first. That was pretty damn. Yeah. Then I do this route again because I want to like reset at the um, the last boss there. So now I'm getting the shrine. And this guy. No, I'm not like doing a lot of damage here right now. But now we revive, leave the Hydra there, it's gonna kill everything. Kill the boss again. And this boss. Get all the big stuff here. Mm. 
Now here comes the important part. So you want to kill this boss while you still have the shrine up. And I think this time I, I can do it, yeah. So this is like an extra free 10k points basically, which is pretty important, I guess. You don't want to pay this, obviously. through here so now the left part of this uh, area is clear so we want to go into the right part here and then we set right after we um, well no we we actually reset in the middle because there's still mobs here right so we kill these ones here and now we do this reset here Hydra there, that will be enough. Not sure why I'm so slow this time. Usually I'm like much faster. But yeah, it's first run. So. My strategy is better now. I only got like 122 left, which is not enough, but um, you know, I guess if I wouldn't fail so much, then this would be a good run. Let's try to finish this. So this time we can um, do this one because we reset in the middle. So that means the middle is dead. So we can just uh, do this reset here. Do all these. This boss. Again, now I would just like basically need another minute um, to finish the score, which I don't have right now, but that's okay. It was just like very slow this run for whatever reason. So like, basically now I'm at 900k, and... So I'm nine at, at 900k, right? This boss is still left, this boss is left, this boss is left, and these chests are left. So that's like, like probably like 1.05 million or something like that. If I just get this route faster. So that's pretty much alright, I guess. What did I get like this score? Like that's crazy. Like that's really crazy. I'm not even top 100 anymore. Well, I mean they they exploit with the shrine, so I don't know how much more points that's going to do. But yeah, let's see if we can get this faster this time.
but it's a pretty big cooldown here. Yeah, this was way too slow already. Let's see if we can make up for this lost time somehow. But I don't think so. <laughs> They fixed that the the auto picking up the um, points from the chest. It almost looked like it. But yeah, I'm way too slow. I'm already gonna go restart. This is like not going anywhere. if I change something why I'm so slow used to be much faster <laughs> maybe I just do one jump into like the area and do the other ones with the Hydra not sure let me just check one thing real quick here just want to know if uh, it's going to pick up the, uh, the bubbles if I do that or restart this. Okay, so I jump in here. I'm going to put a Hydra there. Now I leave. See what happens? Is even gonna kill them? Probably like not even. Well, they are dead, but I killed them. Let's just see if like how far I basically need to be away. Points are still like flying to me if the Hydra kills it like off screen. Because my assumption is no. Okay, I guess it does. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I would have to put the Hydra here, basically, and then we'll kill stuff like there. I hope, at least, I hope. So let's see. Let's see.
the end so much cooldown. That was okay, I guess. First rotation is again slow, but not too bad, I guess. I stop hitting walls. It's pretty bad. just took, fortunately. Well, now I have a problem. Should already restart this, honestly. Doesn't make sense. Uh. You 75k, but not with this build, right? It was Blizzard or something like that. I mean, all builds uh, which do not focus on teleport, fireball, enchant will not like get any high score in this at all. Yeah, okay. But did you... Uh, did you choose like... Um, well, doing bullshit here. Uh, did you do like fireball and uh, teleport enchant? Like, it should be easy to get like way more with ball lightning. Concentrate. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> well, I think my first run wasn't much better, honestly. I think my first run was like 400k or something like that. But I have like very good gear and all Ubers and stuff like that. Yeah, I forgot on save occurrence. What is wrong with me? But I have serious skill issues as well, so... <laughs> Currently I cannot even like press one skill properly. Wait, do I have like my construct fully equipped? I feel like I'm missing something here. Um... You know, it's
you have latency? Like, you're like so slow. Terrible. This time we do it correct. I'm failing so bad right now. I don't even want to know how slow I am. Let's speed this up. Just training here. Speed it up. Time we go in the correct way. Yeah. This was the correct way, actually. But I think it was, but I'm way too slow. Way too slow. So I'm like sloppy at this uh, mod pack. I'm skipping it. Something there hurts. Like something always gives me damage, which is pretty bad because my potion like key is like two, and I like cannot really reach it with my hands because I'm not really planning to use potions here at all.
really got feared there. <laughs> I think I'm a little bit better timing wise now, but still like way too slow. I need like uh, like at least three minutes at this point, I would say. I have like two and a half. But at least, you know, the, 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 the good thing is I can memorize the route. That is already like such a big improvement. Like I don't have issues like going the route anymore. Which is like the most important thing here really, just to memorize to do the most efficient route. I guess like the mob survived there, that's already not very good. You know, it is what it is. This last part of my route is like so inefficient. Like my biggest issue here. Now I even have to like walk here. So that really cannot happen. It's costing me like way too much time here. So I guess I have to um, work on this very last iteration there. It's okay. A couple of more tries and I will have it. See, now I'm missing like two bosses. Because after the reset, I didn't kill the boss again, which I think is like. I think I need to do like a different route after the reset there. Yeah, I mean, it's not really fun, though. I mean, it's all right. But, you know, we'll probably do next week, but that, that's going to be it. So, the last round, what I do is... Um, on the last round, I go in here. I kill this boys, boss, I pick up this, um, no wait, on the last round I pick up this um, reset. So I kill this boss and then I go here and then do this reset. And then I go here, kill this. And while I'm here, I'm running out of cooldowns. And I don't really... Um, Okay, because uh, okay, I do this reset before, right? And then this area is empty of mobs. And that's why I have trouble moving this way. So I should probably not do this reset. I should probably do this reset. And then do this reset last. Because then I will not have... Because it doesn't matter if I do this reset or this reset, right? If I do um, this reset, the mobs here are going to be respawning. And then on the last rotation, I will have um, the mobs to travel through here. So I have to memorize on the um, on the um, second last round not to do this reset. I go kill this boss and then do this reset here. I mean, there is kind of a strategical, like, element in this. It's not a very good one, though. Like, I feel like the, it would be better if the strategy would be much more refined than this. 
because that's what they tease at it, right? So you pull the bosses to a certain shrine and then you revive them there and stuff like that and it really matters. But since the bosses don't uh, revive where they where you killed them, they just uh, revive... Um, uh, they just revive... What? Oh, come on. Right, we start. Um, they just revive like wherever they spawned. And you cannot really do this at all. And the shrine revives the entire map. And before in the stream they said the shrine is just going to revive monsters around it. And that would be like way more of an interesting strategy. So you have to pull the correct mobs to the shrine, then revive them. But now it's just, you know, finish as many rounds as possible. Period. And do like a little bit of efficiency with the revive routes. But I feel like it's like major, uh, like it's missing so much strategy in. Um, no, you get the four um, rewards once you have like Seed of the Worthy, which you get like, I think you need like 300k points or something like that. Then you get the three um, caches. Why am I not hitting him? It was like an okay start, I guess. Okay, I didn't pick up the shrine. Got it. Let's restart. Okay, so... Yeah, so you just need the Seal of the Worthy to get the highest reward, really. You don't need anything else. So we're going to try... Um, Whispered House Pain Gorgeous again, but I want to do it like the correct way for now. No, I'm holding it. I'm just holding. Well, yes, I mean, technically, I am holding it, right? But I'm not clicking it, but. <laughs> but yes, my, like, my finger is on that button. long there's like a mob missing there there used to be like two key mobs and there was just one like strange
it was still too slow. I have to like get at least like 15 seconds fast down that rotation. Playing like really bad right now. Horrible. Horribly slow. something wrong right now like badly because i was supposed to pick up the uh the extra point shrine there and i completely failed it anyway i can pick up it later just keep this round for training here. Let's just do some training. Now I'm not doing this shrine here as I did before. Now I'm actually going through here. I'm getting this shrine here. This one I forgot, but it doesn't matter so much. So this one is the revive shrine. Maybe it's even beneficial to take it like at that, that stage. This one, and then on the last one, I will have the good route, I guess. Do here real quick. See if I'm actually correct with my assumption here. Now, could be 
Missed the mob there, by the way. So now we go in back here. To this one. Now we have this revive shrine here. Which then revives the mobs I need on the way. Keep my ultimate up. Back, yes. This one real quick, tank Hydra. So again, I wasn't too slow, so I don't have enough time now to... Um, maybe I should the channel is trying to... But yeah, I, I was too slow um, in the beginning, I made too many mistakes, so I don't have enough time now uh, to pick up the keys and uh, the chest at the very end. But with this route, um, should be able to make this, no problem. And oh, like this route is missing a boss basically also, so I also will have to um, do this boss here. So when I come out from here... Ah. So, so there's a boss here, right? So I have to kill this boss as well. So I assume we're gonna reset here, then go back here, kill this stuff. And maybe just dip in here. So I guess we reset here, then we go. We reset here, go here, kill this elite pack, then go back, dip here, do this, do this, do this. I guess that's better because um, I have been missing this boss here. So that should be the better strategy. So yeah, if you have good execution, uh, until then, uh, it's gonna work fine. So let's see if we can do this. So also on the last run, so this pillar here, so we pick up the, um, wait, how do we do it? Like we go in here the first run, right? Then we go here, we pick up the pillar here. So we have one pillar here, which we need to kill as many bosses as possible with. So if we come here in, like if we go in here on the second round, right, you can go this one here. Then we could pick up this pillar, kill this boss, go here, kill this boss, reset, kill this boss, kill this boss. So we could probably get like four, maybe five bosses. Well, the fifth one would be this one, if possible. But it, but that is, uh, that's okay. Like from the strategy, it like works fine. Okay, that was like fail. My frame shoot too early anyway. Go. So sometimes the boss doesn't follow you, which is like a pretty big disadvantage. Sometimes he does though, like I don't know what kind of triggers him or not.
Oh yeah, this one you want to have the shrine still, which I just failed. So that's 10k points I'm missing right there. Pretty bad. Time at least I have the shrine for the boss. Okay, it's the shrine, not a big deal. Missing like mobs here. It's something which should not happen. Oh wait, now my strategy was the following, right? We pick up the shrine here. Then we go back to the boss first. Yeah, I'm missing an artillery shrine round right now, which is actually a pretty big deal. Wait, did I? I, I kind of feel like I missed like some revive here. Like pretty strange. I oh, know I already revived. Okay, now I remember correctly. But I'm still like a good 30 seconds too slow once again. But again, just keep training this route really. Just memorize it. <laughs> Okay, I did the same mistake like last time. 
picked the wrong shrine here. So I'm supposed to pick this one here in the middle. Now I have like... I don't know, I, maybe I mixed up the rotations or something like that. Yeah, I did actually. Wait, so what, what was my plan? We tried to figure out what my plan was. What is actually here, by the way? Where's like going here at all now? Just non elites. This is an elite pack actually, but it's too far away. Um. So wait, my plan was to get this one last. So when I go in for the third time, I have this boss dead and I have this boss dead. <laughs> Prince of Persia is probably the better game. Um, right, so I have this one down, I have this one down. I go in here and I have to kill this boss and I have to reset. So I kill this boss and I go here and I reset here. I don't reset here, I reset here on the third run, important. First reset, second reset, third reset, fourth reset. Important. Remember it. <laughs> I just want to break one million, then I'm done. <laughs> I don't need any more. So I really just need one good run and then I'm done. <laughs> right. That was already like terrible start. Like completely scuffed here. Yeah, it's too slow every start. Absolutely no uh, sense to continue that. The third round, reset in middle. Very important. I feel like my second round is also like pretty inefficient. Because I walk through the middle where there's no mobs. So on my second round, right, I go in here. I go in here. So I have to clear every so I go in here, then I do this, then I do this, and then I kill a boss. And I feel like I'm when I'm traveling through here, there's no mobs. So maybe I should go this way. That might actually be better. Uh, da -da. Because on my second round, I pick up shrine in the middle. My second round... Wait, first round, I pick up shrine here, right? So second round, come in here, have shrine. So, no, I have to go here. I have to pick Shrine here. And I have, you know, I guess I cannot make it any better, honestly. It is what it is.
a little too far in. Come on, just follow me, boy. Why do we have to like go all the way back for this guy always? That was good. But I feel like I have latency, like I, I have like this kind of teleport rubber banding. Second run, pick up shrine in middle. Don't worry about this mobs, I'm gonna come back there anyway. Long time. Got so far. Got my shrine still up for this boss. Okay. There's mobs left, so let's see if hydro there. Ryan, pretty big deal, let's pick it. Okay, now don't fuck it up. We go here. Now we don't reset here, we go into the middle. Now we reset here. Kill this boss. Drop Hydra. So since we already reset, I guess I can 
Let's go this way here. Guess that will be okay. I don't even know if I have to. No, oh shit, I didn't have to kill this boss at all. Okay, that was a mistake. Stupid mistake. Never mind, let's go for training. That was a mistake. I don't even know if the Hydras are actually killing those, but my assumption is yes. So now, since I completely fucked up... Um, I would have... Like, I would kill this boss right now, right? It's completely stupid to run through, you know? Um, but yeah, we do the revive here. So this would be the last rotation, right? We kill this boss now, because we're not gonna get back here. Then we go through here, pick up all these guys. Pick up this boss, probably drop a Hydra there, I don't even know if it's like good to drop it there. And then yeah, if we wouldn't be totally slow, then we would just kill this boss here now, and then have a beautiful last rotation to finish up this run. I wonder, do I have latency? No. Feels like I'm having latency. Okay, but at least I figured out the route now, so... I'll just get the execution run uh, going and then we're good. I need four keys for the last round. Okay, don't hit the wall. Be bad. Maybe the boss is nice and follows me once. Yes, wonderful boss. See if he would always follow me like that, that, you know, gives you like, really it gives you a couple of seconds, maybe like two or so, which is quite a big deal. a good time. I have like 10 seconds more than last one.
running pretty good so far. not mess up this rotation now. It was not very fast. I guess it's still fast enough though. Get a boss here. Again, I messed up. I just think that time is still alright here. Set here in the middle. Gonna hit this pillar here. Oh, stop messing up, please. good so far from my timing but still nah, I don't think, ah, actually it's two minutes I should have I need like 230 at this point I think but let's see Okay, so now I have like the same problem. Let's see, let's see, let's see where it goes. Four seconds. Not too bad, but I think it's not enough.
Yep, not enough. So now I would have to pick up basically four keys and finish this route. And then we would be good. As you can see, I only have like 30 seconds left, so I'm not gonna finish it. And let's try to make it at least to the boss. So maybe I can beat my 980 at least. <laughs> Ah, but yeah, so that was without keys, right? My my 980 record was with keys. So just imagine I had like another 20 seconds with the keys, then that would be it. So we're getting there. Got a good, got a good feeling about this. Twenty seconds is easy. Like it's just like do some less fuck ups and it works. Bosses here. Wonderful. Okay. This is pretty bad.
This took a little long as well. I think I'm like extremely slow already, like uh, not even remotely gonna make it. If this happens, it's already like completely screwed. Like if you miss the timeout on uh, the timing on unstable currents here, it's like you're not gonna be you're not gonna get back from like having to move the regular way for like an extended period of time. Didn't pick up the shrine. Perfect. So I feel like those Hydras are not killing those mobs. They have no way to prove this. Yeah, so this would be like my last rotation now. And again I have like one minute left which is not enough. Seconds. And now we would have to pick up the keys and finish the rotation. But again, I'm missing like 20 to 30 seconds, I would say, yeah. Ah! I'm just wondering if I can optimize this one rotation or if I just you know have to play more flawlessly I guess I just have to play more flawlessly
Really missed the mob there. Oh, come on. Oh, already mistake. Ah. I should just do it like the Chinese guys, just go in with a channeling shrine then because the first rotation like costs you like a significant amount of time and if you just enter the gauntlet with a channeling shrine, you know, it's gonna happen like it's not gonna be a big deal anymore. <laughs> but yeah, too easy. What? You, you really cannot make like these mis It's like so so weird like if with with the teleport if you're like in in front of a wall like at just a little bit it doesn't really matter where you put like your mouse you're not going to get teleported out of there. It's like just such a terrible mechanic there. Even though I wasn't even standing in front of any, like I was like kind of sideways to the wall or something like that. They tried to teleport like, I don't know, like 90 degrees south and it still wouldn't let me. Maybe I can even screw this hide right here and just... That already took like long. Oh f That was not good, but it's okay. I'm still rolling. good so far Let's see if we can keep this up there's some mobs down there definitely one up.
this like this part i feel like it's not the the best uh way i'm doing there because it takes me like a little bit too long i feel like to kill this boss here the second time If you ex execute it flawlessly, I guess uh, it's pretty okay. I think I'm like pretty good from my time right now if I don't mess it up like majorly now. Pretty good so far. Got a good twenty seconds more than last time. Still gonna be very, very close if I can execute correctly. But it's pretty good time so far. Just like a little problem here, but I still have a minute. Wait. Thirty seven seconds. Go and do this. One, two, three. Okay, it's just three keys, no matter. Doesn't matter. Go. First chest. Second chest. Okay, I didn't get anything out of this. Anyway, we have the million already, so have been better ah. but it's the million <laughs> I'm not like really uh, overly happy about this because I screwed up the last round once again I could have made like probably like 20k more points but you know at least it is there <laughs>
Rank 84. Not too bad. Without exploits, so. I might have. Nah, I'm not gonna use the exploits. Alright. But I might, you know, improve a little bit. I think I can get like a little bit more. Okay, so let's get this a little bit better. <laughs> oh, this takes forever. Oh, all right, that is already screwed. Oh, it wasn't even 0 0.0, it was 0 0.01. <laughs> it was 0 0.01. Cannot even round this. So I guess I do like two two more runs and see if I can improve this, but then I'm gonna like you know call it a day. Pretty sure I could do better, but you know what? Guess I don't have to. I feel like also in the very first rotation I miss a lead pack, like I missed the lead pack there like quite often. I, I think I just missed it once more. I really don't understand why they uh, don't make this uh, chests like auto like be picked up. Because like you're like basically clicking at like such a high pace and then you have to basically slow down and precisely click uh, next to this chest and I, like at least for me it's like very difficult. Because I feel like you know if I want to do precise clicks like I play Minesweeper but you know if I want to play Diablo, I don't want to like have to click like onto like one exact point. I feel like that is something which is like totally not working out, at least for me. Oh.
Also, I wonder, like, if it's really worth this route here I'm taking, because I think it's not the best one here in the middle. I think you can definitely do a better one. I mean, I'm trying to maximize the chest bonus, basically, but... Wait, what? What did I do? What did I mess? Ah! Oh, I got the reset. Ah! Uh. Wait, let's restart. <laughs> Makes no sense. I mean, maybe I can even finish top top 100. Isn't it like the top 100 gets a mount or something like that? Or was it just the top 10? No, the top 10 is like gets in the happy um, exploit users uh, leaderboard forever. Yeah, this is pretty bad. I oh, was lucky. Not going so good, but also not going so bad. bad.
Wait, is he not? Should have trusted that he's gonna be dying. Lost like two seconds there. Rotation. Reset in middle. Where did all these mobs come from? See if we can get still some score. I think I'm too slow. <laughs> I think this is not going to happen. Doing way too many like mistakes here. Wonder why I'm even going this way. I think because I oh yeah, I want to pick up this tax here. Maybe I don't, shouldn't even do that, that costs like some extra time and I feel like there's not even mob there. So yeah, 28 seconds. I really need a minute. I think you need a good minute going into like the last rotation with the keys. Yeah, it's fantastic, but if you want to play it, it's like really exhausting. Yeah. Like, actually. <laughs> it's a little bit too fast. Let's just put it like this. But maybe I can even hit like one point. One million, if I keep pushing.
I think that is, I, I, I mean, that is the points which is, um, I think, easy, like easy accessible. It's probably like the 1.1 million. Everything above that is like crazy. I have no clue how to do that. I mean, of course, other than exploiting the shrine in the very beginning. But you would probably have to, like, kill every single mob pack. Like, perfectly. Oh my god, 30 seconds. That was bad. round is like just terrible well maybe i can actually try to switch my gloves since i have like the one million now maybe i do a couple of tries without the pain gorgeous i get the feeling without the pain gorgeous it didn't work so well but maybe that was just like a feeling and now as i'm getting like way more consistent over like the higher scores i might just try this again because it gives me basically an extra 25 percent attack speed For the risk of basically not killing mobs. I'm not so sure, but I, I, I definitely want to test it again. Because now I can pretty much compare, because I'm always like hitting like 950 or something like that. But I would be able to um, tell difference if there would be a major difference. Runs like completely scuffed anyway. To just end this. Oh, and I, <laughs> I just moved the wrong way anyway. So just put this. Okay, let me just switch these gloves here. Let's try one more time without. Um, Without pain gorgeous. Let's see if we So I should be able I should be moving faster through the dungeon. But my feeling is that I am not getting every single kill. But still maybe it's going to be better. So you see the boss damage is like significantly lower without it. I'm not sure how it end plays out in the end. It 
feels slightly swifter though. Like it's de definitely a little bit more swift. See, like I'm, I'm missing an elite once in a while, definitely. If I don't have enough lightning spears, because now I have to rely on my lightning spears, basically kill everything on them on their own. Before I had like the pain gorgers, which was still doing some work, and now it's just the lightning spears, really. But it doesn't, so at least from like, from uh, the speed, it feels a little bit better, definitely. But we will see um, for the score at the end how many elites I'm actually missing. So we definitely feel like there's like a little bit of boss damage missing. I feel like my score is like so much lower actually. But maybe um, I'm confused. I thought I would have like. I thought I always had like 500k at this point. But maybe I'm confused still. Maybe it was after this rotation that I had 500k. Maybe I should try to click the shrine at least. No, I think actually it was like 500k after this rotation. So let's see how this one is gonna play out. Again, there was like a leap mob which was missing, so if you had pain gorgeous, that wouldn't happen. Right. Be bad. Just the shrine, even worse. Do I actually have to wait for these guys to respawn? Not sure.
I'm still not sure if I'm missing points or not. I feel like yes, but... I don't think I'm missing so many points actually. Just played bad. I feel like. I know that I can teleport uh, above these. I'm doing it all the time, but sometimes it just doesn't work. Also, I don't know what pressing Y would do actually. Oh, you mean like? Well, honestly, I rather um, I rather run to there than open three menus and click two buttons. Like even like this, clicking this, clicking this. I feel like it takes other. It doesn't take longer, but it's more clicks, and I want to save clicks. I hate like um, basically I hate um, doing precise clicks, and that's why I don't like open menus and push buttons. But well, let's just stop this run here. Like this, this, present this, and this, I hate it. Like, I don't want to do it. Yeah, correct. But what I'm saying is, i rather do this and click on this than open this, click this, and click this. I think it's stupid, but, you know... Honestly, they should just uh, spawn you in front of that pillar anyway. Okay, let's try this again.
Okay, so I'm this time like a 10 seconds slower even. But I really think I, I like the Pain Gorgeous version more. Because it just gives you instant kills on everything, while this one here really have to rely on Lightning Spears to kill stuff. I would say this one is a little bit more safe if you um, do not want to get the maximum score because um, it's a little bit more forgiving on the teleport cooldowns. Because on the other one, like basically if you miss like two or three seconds, you're gonna end up with like such a long cooldown on unstable currents, which is uh, completely throwing you off basically. But this one really feels like the single target damage is low. I don't know, I think I definitely like the Pain Gorgeous better. Much more... Um secure kills on everything. Even though if you get used to this, this is probably a little bit faster. Did I actually forget this pillar here? Oh no, I didn't even forget it. There's time for it now. Oh my god, 15 seconds. I don't even know if it's like... I think it's hard to judge at this point.
But I definitely think it's leaving mobs behind. Not many, but it does. Yeah, because I only have like 900k at this point. Like, even if I had the time, usually I had like, I think like 20k more or something like that. This. So let me switch back to like Pain Gorgeous again. I, I think I'm going to do like one. Maybe two more runs. I'm gonna... Actually, I'm gonna do one more run. This is gonna be the last one. For this gauntlet. Maybe I put up a little build guide for... Um, the next gauntlet. Because I don't really have a guide for this. I only have a guide with, like, um, vault farming. But not a guide with, like, the updated, like... Gauntlet version I'm playing. So I might just do this tomorrow. So yeah, I mean the pain gore just like you you can already see it. Like if you watch it, like the 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 packs die like so much faster, and it's only a trade off of like basically twenty five percent attack speed. So like the break point is like very minimal. I have like one hundred forty ish attack speed or something like that, and um, so. I mean, you notice it like a little bit on the on the cooldowns on unstable currents and everything. But since you have to like so heavily rely on lightning spears to um, kill stuff for you, I feel like it's much safer than playing uh, playing the uh, the gauntlets here. Because it's like a really, really heavy damage boost compared to, um, compared to without the pain gorgeous, like the two hundred percent hits there, they really, really matter. But yeah, this, this runs like super slow. I'm already like 15 seconds behind at this point. <laughs> I hope the next gauntlet is gonna be less stressful. Like more of a... I don't know. Well, it's probably gonna be exactly the same. I don't think they're gonna change anything on the mechanics. They're just gonna do a little, diff little different map, but it's probably gonna be the same. But what I don't like is like the the whole bridge story here, because you get stuck on the bridges and the walls. So maybe it would be cool if they would be make like their little cave theme or something like that, like something more easy to navigate.
So yeah, that I I, I feel like the pain gorgeous is just like significantly stronger here. This rubber banding. Also, they should spawn faster. Like, I don't see like why would you, why they put this delay on uh, respawning the mobs. That's super annoying. Also, I feel like one uh, one uh, strategic part I'm kind of missing out is um, I'm not using my ice blades enough. So basically, when you are um, channeling shrines about to expire, like now my channeling shrine expires at this point, right? You want to have some ice blades up because they still give you like a little bit of cooldown reduction. And look, while you have a channeling shrine up, you can basically cast ice blades for free. And this might also help you uh, with sustaining like these dry periods here. Because the dry periods where you don't have unstable currents are definitely the worst. And you, it's it's de almost depending a little bit on RNG with the resets from the hectic, but also my hectic is just 3.6 seconds. So if you would have a four-second hectic, it would probably also be much easier. But at this point, you can basically cast ice blades for free. Rubber banded against that wall. Like at this like speed, like the the little latency of like seventy milliseconds actually becomes an issue already. Yeah, it's the flash. <laughs> but anyway, like I'm good with my one billion run.
So next week we're gonna get a new one. So we're probably gonna make the million earlier next week. Like it took me like a long time to figure out the build and everything. But now as like everything is like set, um, I might just get like some uh, of the missing gear I need. So I still have like, you know, I have a three out of four necklace with just 20% shrine buff duration and just 8.3 cooldown reduction. Which is not like the best one. <laughs> and I still have like um, boots with um, basically a dead stat as well. Flame shield is a dead stat. So, you know, you could definitely get a little bit better gear there. The other ones are fine. I mean, 3% basic skill attack speed, that's that's not going to matter so much. So this, this piece is pretty much good. And, well, who cares about this one, right? So basically the only rare pieces, um, the ring, the stats on it really doesn't matter. Like, pretty much you just need crit chance, so it's pretty much all right. But... Yeah, this amulet, I'm like pretty, pretty unhappy with. I, I really would like to get a new one. But I'm broke. And I don't want to farm. So it's probably not going to happen. I'm probably going to stick with this. So yeah, anyway, we got the million. So let's close this gauntlet story for now. So I guess I see you on Tuesday. Have a nice evening.